Hello everyone, this is Pal Ponder on Weather. In this update, we're gonna be talking about more severe weather later on today behind a very strong May cold front that has much drier and cooler air off the northwest flow behind it. And then next week, the atmosphere reloads starting on Mother's Day into early next week with a multi-day severe weather outbreak. So if you're new to the channel, click the subscribe button and the notification bell to get all my daily updates to keep you ahead of the storm. So let's get right to it. Here is the latest uh, watches and warnings uh, this morning for May the 4th. And that system that was over uh, Texas yesterday that brought all the severe weather last night, that has shifted off, moved on into the southeast where they have active tornado watches happening right now into uh, Mississippi, uh, going in Alabama, and where they had some very heavy rains down here in the portions, southern portions of uh, Mississippi and Alabama going into Georgia. They've got flash flood watches as that system will be moving across and bringing more severe weather uh, later this afternoon. And then that will move off and then we'll have a, a kind of a respite. And then it looks like the pattern reloads on the six to 10 going into next week. So we'll have a little, a couple day cool down from that severe weather starting on Thursday, going into essentially uh, Sunday morning. But by the time we get into Sunday afternoon, we're gonna be watching yet another trough that's gonna be digging in and that colder temperatures from the northwest and these warmer temperatures off the southwest into the deep south that'll set the stage for another yet severe weather outbreak as we head into early next week so let me uh let me set the stage for you from last night man we had a very active last night yesterday you know going here these are just the preliminary reports but yeah already i mean the national weather service will be doing all their survey can damage and everything but yeah we had like reported 21 tornadoes over like 186 different wind reports all kinds of hell reports so it was a it was a very active day over texas you know oklahoma get into arkansas much of the carolinas into georgia last night uh where they just had those uh very high winds uh, tornadoes and that hail threat as well and then today yet yeah, we still have another enhanced risk so that same system will push off into the southeast now places into birmingham are going to be under the gun for that severe weather as well as uh, baton rouge get, to, get into montgomery into mobile as well as uh, columbus georgia all those areas are going to be under the gun for those active severe storms later on this afternoon into the evening hours and even going into Memphis and down here into Nashville, Tennessee, as well as uh, New Orleans, getting into parts of Atlanta, Georgia. Yeah, all those areas are, could be under the gun for that severe weather. If we break it down, man, winds are going to be a really high issue. We're talking very high winds of upwards to 70, 80, and sometimes as much as almost 90 miles an hour with these straight line winds are going to be coming through. They clocked at 87 uh, last night in Sulphur Spring, Texas, and to, into uh, East Texas there, but man, places into Montgomery, into Tuscaloosa, going into Hattiesburg, Meridian, all those areas are going to be under the gun for those higher wind gusts uh, later in this afternoon into the evening hours, and then even getting into the outskirts of Birmingham and uh, Baton Rouge and getting into uh, Mobile, you're still going to be susceptible for those stronger wind gusts as these very powerful storms will continue to move across, and you can see this extends anywhere from basically Houston all the way to Pittsburgh. So this is a widespread event ahead of a very strong uh, May cold front. And there's your hail producer. So that's, these are the areas are gonna be highlighted for that, uh, you know, quarter size hail, maybe some half dollar size hail, getting into uh, East Texas, South, South Texas, going into Houston area, portions of uh, Alexandra, uh, Louisiana, uh, possibly Jackson, Mississippi, could be under the gun for some of those larger hailstones. But yeah, basically anywhere from, a, say, San Antonio again, from all the way to Pittsburgh, all up the Carolina coast, getting into the Tennessee Valley, could be under the gun for seeing some of that hail uh, later on this afternoon into the overnight. But yeah, your uh, tornado risk is prevalent as well. So uh, that will extend some of the highest areas we could possibly see a tornado is into the Birmingham, Alabama, get into Baton Rouge, where you basically have that enhanced risk into Montgomery, into Mobile. 
So basically where you have that enhanced risk of severe weather, that also that's also where you have that elevated uh, tornado threat as well. But you could see still a possibility of an isolated tornado anywhere from Lafkin going up to uh, Louisville, extending all the way into Atlanta. So that's still going to be susceptible for under the gun for those strong to severe thunderstorms. Later on this afternoon, here's the highlighted uh, triple X triple uh, 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 R model of the high resolution data going into noon time frame. So that's not too far away from now as the storms will be kind of training at ahead of the warm sector here. You got that very cold air behind the front. I mean, it's dropped to 63 degrees in Dallas after they hit 91 uh, yesterday. So there's some very cool air uh, behind this front, but out ahead of it, you're gonna have to be dealing with those uh, strong to severe thunderstorms as these continue uh, to move across. There would be your six o'clock time frame uh, model data as this would these would be over uh, southern Mississippi getting into central uh, Alabama by then getting into po portions of the northern portions of uh, Georgia uh, by then with some very heavy rain setting up over the Tennessee Valley extending into uh, Illinois as well as uh, Indiana and that severe threat will just continue uh, to shift. So I think tomorrow uh, they have a ma marginal risk because I think I think a lot of the colder air is gonna kind of catch up uh, with this system. It's gonna feed into the storm and kind of inhibit uh, the severe threat as this gets along the coast here. So that's why I think they have just have a marginal risk for severe weather getting into Jacksonville, getting into New, New Orleans, as well as uh, Virginia Beach, going into Raleigh, uh, North Virginia, all these areas could see some stronger severe storms but nothing like what they're possibly going to see off the southeast uh, air area uh, later on this afternoon. But yeah, this will continue pushing across. There's your there's your radar depiction on what it may look like as we go into uh, noon time frame on Wednesday. These will be right along the coast, uh, hugging the coast of the Carolinas, getting into the mid Atlantic states, going into the Northeast, uh, which is some heavier rains, some uh, moderate rains, and these will continue uh, to push it off the coast on Thursday. We can actually finally say goodbye to that system, and back behind it, we're going to be dealing with some much cooler temperatures drier conditions more more comfortable air especially for may standards as you can see the anomalies by by the time you wake up on thursday yeah those colder push off the northwest flow will extend all the way down to the coastline so those five to ten degrees below average anomalies will be feeling really nice as we go into uh, the end of the first week of May. And you can see back here in the West, we got that ridge building in with some warmer temperatures building off the West Coast as this uh, Northwest flow will continue to be prevalent for several days to come. That just extends into Friday with those cooler anomalies really setting up shop over uh, the Ohio Valley, you know, 10 to 15 degrees below average temperatures. So that's definitely gonna be cool uh, for May standards as this will continue uh, to amplify even going into Saturday. So you can see Saturday, uh, that Northwest flow just continues into the weekend with those much uh, cooler anomalies. Even Florida will start getting into the action. And so that's going to be a cool respite uh, for you guys down there. But you can definitely see the warm surge pushing a little bit further, uh, getting into the plains, getting into Texas. And you can start to see out here in the Pacific Northwest, more signs of cooler temperatures filtering back in to the pattern you know after we warm up uh, start to warm up and after off these southwest winds and kind of get that transition uh, time frame again and then as we expand the view and look at the north american view far as the trough goes man you can definitely see the trough really starts to dig in into the central u.s sets the sets the stage for those much cooler temperatures into the central U.S. and down to the south, we have those much warmer temperatures. And with those clashing temperatures, that's gonna be a classic, a severe weather setup as we have go into, unfortunately, Mother's Day on Sunday, because by the time we get into Sunday, here's your anomalies with those cooler temperatures coming back through the plains. There's your warmer temperatures out ahead of it. The pattern will reload again. We'll probably touch back into the, uh, you know, close to 90 degrees, uh, getting back into North Texas, getting into back into portions of, uh, you know, Louisiana, getting into Arkansas with those warmer temperatures. And with that cold front coming back in, that would be setting the stage for possibly another round of strong to severe thunderstorms 
probably setting up about you know time frame you know into the Sunday evening areas but it does look to set up over the plains where we could be looking at some more severe weather as we go into Sunday Sunday evening extending it you know getting into portions of North Texas Oklahoma Kansas uh, Missouri portions of uh, Arkansas I just think it just really starts to amplify uh, further as we go into Monday uh, the 10th that just sets the stage for more severe weather over North Texas into Oklahoma, Kansas, Missouri, Arkansas areas, possibly maybe getting into the Tennessee Valley. And I think that just even deepens further as we go into Tuesday with the multi-day severe weather outbreak into next week. So it does look active. It does look to start to really ramp up as we go into May, especially with those cooler temperatures continuing to hang on, filtering into the system with those uh, teleconnections hinting of that colder air shifting back into the, to the United States. Yeah, so North Texas, Oklahoma, much of the Southeast could be under the gun for those strong to severe thunderstorms even going to Tuesday. So I'm definitely looking at a multi-day outbreak as we go into uh, the end of next week and to early next week with this same system. So man, I appreciate you guys uh, watch, watching. Uh, do like this video. Definitely leave your comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel to catch the latest update where I protect you before and after the storm.